What is going on guys? Hey Monchan here and today we are back with this long awaited deck tech or deck list and this one is one of my favorite ones that I came up with. I'm really looking forward to make it work. If these two cards right here prices go down, Lunala GX and Mega Mewtwo Y EX. Now this is looks like it's gonna be amazing if I can pull it off and I'm gonna show you show you why. Now First two cards, we're just going to go through it since Sun and Moon Base is not out yet um, in North America and we can't really do a TCGO thing. And maybe I'll do one after and who knows, maybe if enough people will watch, I'll do a live stream of it. I'll test out that Waylord deck tech and I'll do this one. That'll be really fun. Anyway, first two cards, we got Shattershot Mewtwo. You need to have Shattershot because of damage change and how much it helps you. And then we got Mega Mewtwo Y, Psychic Infinity. I'm sure you two know. I'm sure you know what these Mewtwo do. What these Mewtwo do. Yeah. Um, yeah, Psychic Infinity is for two colorless. 10 plus 30 for every energy attached to both actives. It's, I'm sorry, I have to do this in a Word document. I could not do this in TCGO. I'm sorry. But uh, anyway... Next cards, we have two Nebigan in the bags, we got two Cosmoum, and then we got two Lunala GX. So the whole point of this deck is to have Lunala GX be, have the ability to move the energy around between you two, so then you can get a, like, surprise on your opponent. Because with Mega Mewtwo decks, where they really not fall apart but have trouble is with Mega Caesars, and when they're getting hit hard with the taking off the special energies. So what you do with Lunala GX, you come in out of nowhere with all these energies going on to Mega Mewtwo. And then they're like, oh no, we're kind of screwed. And then they just like have nothing to do. The whole point of this deck is the element of surprise added on to Mega Mewtwo. So this is your standard deck. And we also have two Bruxish. And this is because, I mean, this could be lowered down to one and you can add in another Pokemon. Um, please, in the comments, I haven't found anything, but tell me if there's a card that gathers energy, like, and puts it onto your bench in the, in the latest uh, standard format. I am not sure. But this one, you, get, you can search your deck for two, you know, two or three energy. I'm sorry, this is in Japanese. I don't read Japanese. It, you search your deck for two or three energy and put them into your hand, which comes in really handy for getting the energy. You just need something to place them down. So now we're going to move on to the trainers. So we got your standard four Sycamore. We're doing four Professor's Letter. This, again, can be lowered and substituted for something else, possibly Trainer's Mail. Um, we have three Magneto Spirit Links, Mega Turbo for obvious reasons, two and four Ultra Ball, because you're definitely going to need to get these Pokemon out quickly. Then we have Shrine of Memory, so you can do a damage change if you need to. Parallel City. I mean, that should be in, in any deck. Trainer's Mail. Trainer's Mail is definitely something that you're going to need to have. And we're taking one Super Rod with us to get some stuff back. Two Float Stones to maneuver your Lunala. And Rare Candies, especially for that Lunala. And now we're just, we're at the energy. Four Double Colorless. Nine Psychic. And there you go, you pretty much got your deck. I went through this a bit quickly, and that's because I want to take some time at the end of the video to talk about this whole strategy, this whole deck. So yeah, you want the element of surprise on your opponent. So what you could potentially do is, hopefully, you either get a Bruxish or a Mewtwo EX up first. Place them as your active. If you have one of each, put, put one on your bench. Bruxa should go up first. Because there's not many energy in this deck, it's good to have um, gr good support to take out the energy. So, there you go. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put your Nebby in the bag down after. And you're going to want to have Rare Candies handy. So you can start like powering up your Mewtwo and 
what I there's two ways you could go. You can you can actually use Lunala as your main attacker, and this is a very crazy idea. You can use Lunala as your main attacker, Lunala GX, and you could have Mega Mewtwo Y sitting on the bench as a decoy. That sounds mind-boggling and insane, but you make your opponent think you're going to set up for the Psychic Infinity, so they try and take off the energy, you shift everything to Lunala GX, put him up front, and he's either lun Lunar Falling, taking EXs out, or he is uh, moon, Ge moon, Geist, moon Geist Ray or Moon Geist Beam or whatever, Hunt 120, they can't heal, that sets you up for instant to... Um, two turn knockouts. Lunala GX is a very underrated card, but it's a very powerful card. It, people are saying, because it's a stage two, it's a stage two, it's too difficult to set up. Um, but you got the rare candies, that's why you have them. Um, I have two Bruxish because 110 HP is plenty for a basic, but it's not enough. So in case one does get knocked out and you need some energy, you're not getting any trainers. That's more of like a safeguard kind of thing. So that's one way you can use Mega Mewtwo as a decoy. The other way is you use Lunology X for the Psychic Transfer, which is its ability you can transfer as, or you can move as many Psychic Energy as you want from one Pokemon to another during your turn. Now, it is a very good strategy that not a lot of people are looking into now that it's a, set, now that it's a stage two. But, and again, that's why you have the rare candies in there. What you're going to want to do is push all, like, use Mega Mewtwo to kind of draw them in, set up. Then you push all the energy onto Mega Mewtwo to go for that attack. You don't keep attaching them because then it just makes it easier for them to knock it out. You, like, put one or two on a Bruxish, and then let's say you have a Cosmog, you put one or two there. You have some on your Lunala. What you want to do is you want to have one on your Mega Mewtwo. Then you shift everything at once and just knock anything in your knock out anything in your way. And the good part about this is you can only shift as many as you need and then you can pull them back all the energy and rearrange them into however much you want to be on your Lunala, your Bruxish and you if you want to power up another Mega Mewtwo or two that's completely fine, and that's what you're going to do. So those are the two ways you can play this deck. Um, yeah, if I can ever get my hands on a, on the proper cards for this deck, because Mega Mewtwo and Shattershot Mewtwo are definitely not cheap cards. Now the Roaring Skies is in reprints. Maybe we'll get a breakthrough reprint if we need one. Um, so those are the two ways you can play this card or this deck for, for the matter, I can definitely see this deck becoming a staple and standard if it's played right. So there's the two ways you can play it, but there's also the way in which you don't use your Bruxish at all. Which You need to use a Bruxish to take stuff out. Though it is your attack, but there's only like some of the other profs letters, I shouldn't have had four, I should, I should take them out, but like maybe two, and take out one Bruxish, but you gotta use that Bruxish just to take in the energy, to pr put it into your hand, and because mostly this deck focuses on surprise, I can't stress that enough, surprise your opponent, they're not gonna expect you, they're gonna expect all the damage to be placed, because that's what a Mega Mewtwo does, it just throws damage on the field. You're going to want to use Bruxish to kind of confuse them. You're going to place your energy. It definitely does take quite a few turns to set up. But don't forget, you got the Shrine of Memories. You can damage change if you're ever in a pinch. And yeah, that's pretty much how this is going to go, guys. That's how you play this deck. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm working on a Snorlax GX. It is definitely harder than you think since you're only allowed for special energy in a deck. But I'm definitely going to try and make one. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. 
leave a like, it helps out a lot since I'm still a fairly new channel. And I gotta say, happy 2017, happy new year. I haven't been around YouTube a lot, and I haven't even wished you guys happy new year, I don't think yet. So I want you guys to have a happy new year. Comment down below, tell me what you, what, how you like this deck, the improvements, and definitely subscribe. Since very new channel, I'll restate that, it helps so much. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.